I'm all about designing with shapes first and plants later on. So what I tend to do is I break up the plants into a number of different shapes. Now there's a plant out there that to perform any trick you want it to do. Believe me, in any country, in any, in any atmosphere, it's, it is quite amazing. So you've got to think about putting the right plant in the right place. So what I did was I broke up these plants into a series of structures. And so I know that something like this is going to perform what I call a floor. And when I look at this and I go, wow, that's a, that's a really interesting floor. Probably more interesting than, than turf, right? And then I start looking at the, uh, the whole you know, thing and I go, oh, this is an echeveria. That's pretty cool. You guys call them hen and chicks. So I break this thing down into floors. And I know that that's going to perform lots of tricks for me, but it's only going to stay this tall. So I don't have to constantly go out there and maintain it all the time. So if you plant smart and you, you have an intelligent plant selection, the less work you have to do. So that's my, that's my flaw. Then I start to look at, okay, well, what, what could be, what could be um, an accent, right? So in the ornamental world, this is an accent. In the plant world, this is an accent. So this is an accent plant. So I would position these in areas of the garden that, that I want people to focus on. So, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting plant. An agave has a beautiful red rim around the outside of it. It's pretty spiky, so I'm going to want to keep this away from the kids. I'm going to tuck this back in the garden. I'm going to want to put it high so it gets its good array of sunlight because I know this thing needs about six hours of direct sunlight per day. So I go, okay, that's my accent plant. And then I look at something like this, you know, where I've got my Potocarpus icy blue, and I go, wow. That's an amazing plant, like it's just blue, it ties in with the blue and the agave, so I've got my colours right, it's got a completely different texture than what's over there, but in fact, this is a wall. So I'm not thinking of it as a Potocarpus just yet, well maybe I am, but you guys don't need to. So you, you guys think of this as a wall, so now I start to, to put a few of these up against each other and I've got a blue wall, and that's pretty cool. So I've broken up all my plants into a number of shapes first. And, and plant names later on. And, and I know that I'm going to, going to be growing that plant for the actual habit that it, that it is used to. I'm not enforcing my own architecture upon it. I'm allowing it to just do what it does. Okay, and, and that's the secret. So if I'm, if I'm growing Festuca, Festuca glauca is a fantastic plant that would go in the, in the middle of pavers and things. So I can plant those, those plants around the outside of the pavers and I know that I've got, I'm going to get a nice, dense, good show of blue color. I'm picking up the blue um, that's over there in the Potocarpus. And then maybe even I'm, I'm doing my Kalanchoe flapjacks. And, and that's a really interesting thing too, because the reds and the blues go together. So wow, I just tricked myself into designing then. You know what I mean? And, and I'm starting to use the plants that actually perform the tricks that I want it to, rather than enforcing my own architecture upon it and creating this garden that is constant labor. There are plants that perform ceilings as well, and that is canopy trees that get up and out. I mean, I use bohinia all the time. It's a South African native plant. Uh, you guys call it the Hong Kong orchid tree. If I didn't necessarily want to buy this beautiful gazebo from Roger, Rogers Garden Center, I could actually grow a couple of Hong Kong, Hong Kong orchid trees around the outside, and I'll buy the table setting that sits underneath it. And I'm still under shade, but I'm using nature to actually shield myself and I'm using my own brain because I know the habit of that bohinia is going to actually perform that sealing tactic for me. If we use plants that are successful and there are some really successful plants out there. I don't know whether you've, you've noticed our beautiful Monrovia plants every week. Aren't they stunning? Oh, I tell you what, I can't, absolutely, yeah. I, I can't get enough of them. You know, they really are, I think, the best in America, I've got to say. And we, we use these things in, in such ways that we're really, you know, getting people attracted and drawing them out to the gardens with this amazing plant. There's nothing like the gift of giving people a garden.